tackle. Oh, 18 12.
Not four down, still going. That's a kick out. It's 6 0. What are Panthers going to do here? Cleary off. Just when everything goes their way, Aki Korosau comes onto the field. Good oh, injection for the Panthers to lead 6 0. Can you get up in line? 17 minutes gone. This tackle for the Panthers who lead 10 0 right at their line again. Oh, might go dead. Simo. So 12 0, 15 minutes. Is that play that? Yep. This vlog is going to be, I think it's going to be pretty short, but get behind our team. We don't leave. A lot of people have left. A lot of empty seats. We're still here supporting. Marnie, Brown, it's so hard to do this right now. It's so oh. hard to do this. 
Go for Sydney. Sydney. to 12 in favour of the Penrith Panthers who go back to back um, dominant team across the league not just all year just across the league just the fact that the SG ball New South Wales Cup um, look congratulations to them and congratulations to Dylan Edwards who's seen out a Clive Churchill medalist I thought Brian Toto uh, was absolutely outstanding um, it hurts it, it really, really hurts, um, but I stick by this club. And whether it be on Blazers vlog, if they are included, I said some things tonight that I take out of my mouth. Uh, very negative attitude. And you've got to be positive about your team. Uh, if that team had lost by nil, I would have hated it. And I would have gotten here, and I would have done what I've done now, and given myself time to realize that, hey, you were better than 15 or 14 other teams in the NRL in 2022. And a lot of people say, oh, but what about the Cowboys? They should have been there. They lost 22-0 to Penrith. Would have been a good game, but they lost 22-0 to Penrith. Um, it was a great game. And that was the grand final last week of the NRL, in my opinion. The Cowboys and Eels was a fantastic game. Both teams throwing all they had right down to the wire. Uh, but yeah, we fall short. I know we'll be back on this stage. I know we'll be back at a grand final. I don't think it'll be next year. I don't even think it'll be the year after that. But it just inspires me to, to do more and I hope these players can, can get back to some of the form that we've seen this season. We've obviously had lots of try assists. Um, there is a lot of positives, but overall, pretty disappointing performance and uh, just a grand final appearance, not, not a drought. Breaking uh, premiership, nothing like that. Uh, I thought Jacob Arthur really changed the game when he came on. He played really, really well. And obviously we lose Reid next year to Josh Hodgson, but maybe Josh Hodgson spends some time off with Jake Arthur coming on. Who knows? It could be a move for uh, Brad. Uh, but I thought Sebo, as I mentioned, in that first half really, really good. Second half, some costly errors. And I thought Nathan Brown was really, really good. I didn't think he put much pressure on Cleary himself, which probably what he was designed to be there for, but I thought he played really well for the most part. And I thought a lot of players went missing, but that's a wrap for 2022. It is gonna be hard to make content over the next couple of weeks. And I know there's gonna be people in the comments going, fuck you, para matter, para doesn't matter, 37 years, all your crap. And you can do that, but does that make you a better person? Just remember that, just remember that. Because I had chanting on the way home from little kids, little kids chanting shit to me, watching their fathers join in on the train. And it just made me think, you've got to, in sport, you win, you lose. You don't get cocky. Like, some of the Panthers do get cocky, but, as I said, I congratulate them because they did this, and they went back-to-back, -back, and they're the second team to do it in 20 years. So, that's going to be it for me. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.